YouTube and welcome to our channel. My name is Tyle. I'm Oliver. It's coming up to our first year anniversary and we thought we would make this video like a candid 10 things we've learned this year. This is our 10 things personal to us. So, um, get a cup of tea! <laughs> okay, let's start with number one. Number one! The most important to me and to, to Tao, obviously. Every person we spoke to Staff members, honeymooners, and random, random strangers <laughs> in clubs. We went to clubs. Club. <laughs> went to a club, big up our me and us. But everyone we met said, keep your wife happy and you'll be happy, basically. So, um, husbands out there, just, you, you probably know this already, but if your wife is happy, then you, know, then you are happy. You'll be happy. In more ways than one. Second on the list. Um, to set your chores from the get-go. So I know what I need to do. I know Tina's what I what she needs to do. do. We discussed it before we even got married. Before the rings even came on, I was like, yeah, baby, I'm a cook for you. He would do the washing. We just set it up from the beginning. So no one's treading on anyone's toes. Yeah. We all just know what needs to get done. So um, when it's time for cleaning Saturdays or whatever day we decide to do it on, I rush to the dishes, even though the dishes should be done. Because it's a Saturday morning. <laughs> anyway, number three. <laughs> Don't go shopping on a empty stomach. Because you'll Please. end up spending more money. <laughs> um, I think we learned this the hard way, unfortunately. Yes. But, um, Early on in the relationship. Why are we spending eighty pounds in Iceland? And this is this isn't even just a marriage tip. This is just anyone. Just in everyday life. life if don't don't do it. If you're it's a student, if you're a grown man. <laughs> Stop. Um, um, 27 cats. Going no. back to relationship, love languages. Um, There's five. <laughs> there is five. We don't remember all five. It was something we learned before we got married, actually. Um, it was in a book. I can't remember the title. I think it was Love Languages. But um, read it if you haven't. And um, if you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. It talks about knowing what your partner or what people respond to generally. And Ollie's is. Touch. touch my body. <laughs> no, seriously, it's touch. <laughs> I think most guys is touch. Actually, no, let me not generalize. Kids, YouTube might be. What's my favorite? Teo's is words of affirmation. Yeah. I just give her those uplifting words to get her through her day, you know? That's me. Well, Mr. Motivator. I like being praised. Who doesn't like being praised? So if I'm at work and I've talk about my wife and then I go home and let her know. I spoke about you today. Oh, she gets a girl. <laughs> oh, did you? If there was one for food, I think all men would choose that one. You know your partner's love language because you can save time and money. We all like saving time and money. Yeah. Coming in at number five is not, not everything is an argument. argument. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it has <laughs> Um, no, but yeah, I know it sounds obvious, but it, it really isn't. <laughs> A lot of things aren't that deep. It's not that deep, like, especially me, because I'm quite emotional over, like, little stuff. And it's only recently that I've gotten over it, but I'm not fixed by it. Yeah. So what if I didn't do the washing up? So wait, 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 <laughs> that's not what we're saying. <laughs> like, obviously, some stuff can be a discussion. Discussion is different from fight, like, if you need to talk about something, talk about it. Or if something's bothering you. If something's bothering you, bring it up. But, um, yeah, never dwell on anything. You don't need to dwell and you don't need to come on a fight with hype talk. Straight so, away. Yeah, so. Don't come with a hype man talk one. <laughs> just, even just try and think about what you're going to say before you say it. The guy, oh, that's a good one. So like, you might think something you, you want to shout at someone. I say someone your partner because you think they've done something wrong but then they might not even realise that they've made this mistake and then you used to come on that aggy tip like yo fam you didn't do this or that and then I expect you to do this now and it's you're not gonna he's never talked to me like that in my whole life I don't actually know where that came from no um just chill out hey. look at the situation think about it then address it if they then decide to ignore you then you come in that big man thing in your life, and you better not do this again. Number six, number six, number six. Kiss each other when you see. Yeah, number six, my favorite. Why am I shouting? I kind of. Um, well, instigated this. Brought this into the relationship because I saw. This is something I've copied from my parents who've been married for what? Oh, 
Yeah, too long. Too long. Uh, no, no, not too long. But <laughs> uh, they've been Barrett Mo for a while, and it's something I used to see them doing. It's whenever my parents, even when one parent's in the living room and then the other one comes down from sleeping to see them, they'll kiss each other. When they leave the house, Mary. they'll kiss each other. <laughs> and then when they come back home after a long day's work, they'll kiss each other. And going to bed, they'll kiss each other. And so that's a that's a record of four that that you know of, of course. That's four, four yeah. a day, um, <laughs> kisses. guaranteed. Even if you're in a <laughs> in a mood, you just had an yeah. argument. Your breath smells. There's toothpaste in your mouth. The kiss is going down. Yeah, so. I'm a mood miserable person when he's, I wake yeah, up. Yeah, he's not a morning guy. Um, it just shows, oh, I've woken up, you're the first thing I see. So, More have a kiss, hello. Have a kiss, kiss, you know what, pause the video, go and kiss him now, it's alright guys, it is. The action's not the words sometimes. Aww, kiss me baby. <laughs> number seven, if we've messed up the numbers, we can do a kiss. <laughs> Can't even count to ten. But, yeah, um, it's, not, it's not a video about how to count. Number seven, washing up. If, there's one thing I would change this washer. Up. So anyone yeah, wants to buy us a dishwasher, we'll put the link below. <laughs> no, seriously, um, washing up is I. It was one of my uh, is, delegated chores. That yeah, I chose to. Uh, he chose it, by the way. I did not even we go through so many dishes, so many nice forks, cups, cups. Your wife cooks you a nice, good meal, and then you remember, I've got washing up to do in a second. Just basically, the more of the story or the point should be say number seven or six or whatever we're on. Seven. It's to wash up on the day, no leftovers, no, no in the morning, days. no tomorrow, not in the hour. Like as soon as you finish, it's wash shit up. Is. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Eight. Surprise each other at work. I think we've done this once each. Yeah, we're both on one one at the minute, which is good. Yeah. Um, but it's just a good feeling. And this is when we say surprise each other at work, it's anything from. Oh no, I'm winning 2 1. When? The flowers and when I bring McDonald's breakfast to you. Okay, fine. I was working a long day and yeah, he showed up with some like D's. We're not advertising for McDonald's. Yeah. But <laughs> we could. There's like so many websites as well on like how to surprise your husband, partner. Even if you're one if you if you don't think you're romantic, yeah. Google it. Like there's actual blogs for this. No, in his pocket, turning up. <laughs> like a courier yeah. with some um, bagel king cheese. Oh, yeah, so it just keeps everything fresh and keeps and lets the colleagues know what's what. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes you just gotta mark your territory and you remind what? them. Remind them she taken. So just in case the ring don't do it. Please don't do it. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Budget. Budget, budget, budget. Money budget, is budget, important. Budget. You guys don't even know anything about us yet. Zero. Um, zero. But well, that's no, wait, what these like. YouTubes are. They do. The, um, the, the website. websites. But you don't know so anything about nine. us, yeah. which we have told you. When you get paid, put that money away. Like, you don't need to spend it all on one No, girl. you really don't. You don't need to go on ASOS, Boohoo. <sighs> why is he sending them for me? Um, yeah, so we're 24. We just turned 24. Um, and by the time we are 25, we want to own a house. Yeah. Uh, um, not in London. We're it's not going to fool ourselves. But we plan to be homeowners by by next year. And um, we've just been saving like crazy. And I think it's important. I think not enough young people save. No. Oh, and I'm not even talking about 24. Like, I don't even think we're young anymore. I think we've kind of missed a bit of the window. But we opened the savings account when we were 18 and we paid for our wedding pretty much all. I mean, obviously we got some gifts, but we paid for it by ourselves. And um, but I'm really proud of that. I think that's that's quite important as well. And it means you can make some your own decisions in your wedding. Yeah. But um, I think... Like, some decisions. So, yeah. <laughs> we could not buy our way out of that <laughs> one. Like budgeting is so important. Obviously saving, but actually budgeting what you have. like. I'm not ashamed to say that we have a spreadsheet that even if we don't <laughs> stick to it too strict, like we have it, we know exactly what's coming in, what's coming out. Um, we set like weekly weekly budgets of about £70. This is a side from what we save. Yeah. And um, if you don't spend the £70 a week, which is quite regularly, 
apart chuck from in. when the contract then comes out. Um, we just chuck in whatever's left. So even if it's thirty pounds every week going in, on top of what we save, it's it's just and it's important to get that routine in. It's like, very important. Probably the most important. Yeah, do you know what? Scratch everything. If you're gonna learn anything, <laughs> just budget. Is, Budget. Because I, I don't think we we hardly argue about money. I don't yeah. Think, well, I think, I think it's because we have none. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, well, obviously we do. But not not a lot enough to argue. But I feel like if you've got that from the beginning, it shouldn't it shouldn't change. Number ten. You got to spirit <laughs> <laughs> Number ten is just to remember. Really, there will be bumps. <laughs> there will be bumps. Weaves. Apparently, waves. And then it forms into a love heart. Well, no. <laughs> that would be me. That would. No, there will be hard times. Yeah, there will be hard times. And this year has been hard. This, this, this has been a quite probably. difficult year, actually. Just not even just like. Oh, being really married has been just, awesome. Yeah, but like stuff Nothing going on. <laughs> but, um, we've had quite a few downers this year. I'm happy to say we've gotten over all the humps. And, but at the time, it, it did feel. Hard, yeah. No, it's hard it's, it's, yeah, hard. I don't even know the words are, but it was it was a difficult time, and but we got through it at the end of the day. Together, it was it was no, nice not even just together. Family, seriously, yeah. prayer, like, and we just want to say that even though there will be hard times, in the end it will all work out. Yes, just keep positive and get a dog because they are so important in its sky. Yeah, let's get our dog in. Hey. Hi, Scary! Oh, look at his tiny, looks <laughs> like a little polar bear. Hmm. Oh, this no. is our old age man. Alright, I think we're finished. So, yeah. We obviously want to continue to make more videos for you. If you liked it, of course. If you didn't, then... And that concludes our video. Yes, excited! We're excited. <laughs> we're excited. But, we excite. but listen, um... <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're not listening. You're not this watch on my wrist and it's glistening. Oh. Casio. Oh. <laughs> Anywho, one minute forty nine seconds to make this video end. Okay, no, for real. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, subscribe, share, follow. Uh, no, you don't follow. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, all the description stuff for Teo because I'm hardly on it. Oh look, I'm doing the thing all down there. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, we do.